Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin. Um, in today's <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, it's time to be serious now. <laughs> in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I add vinyl decals or how I put my stickers on my Jasmineite pieces. So I had to shift my camera quite a bit so that you can see me in my little corner where I usually record. The sun is really beaming in from the window and it's quite overexposed. So I kind of just had to move it around. Excuse the background, please don't judge me. Um, I am working on it. So I do want to just say that I do make my own stickers and to do this, I use my silhouette camera. Cameo 4. It's kind of similar to a Cricut machine. These are vinyl cutting machines that you can purchase yourself and make your own stickers. Or if you don't have enough money to buy a die cutting machine, you can always um, purchase decals off of Etsy. There are lots of people who also do custom decals, so you can design it yourself and send it off and they will ship the stickers to you. So I'm just going to show you the process of how I do this. And um, I thought it would be an interesting video and I thought it would answer your questions because I did have... I think it was two ladies who asked me how I did this. So I thought it would be a great to kind of just show you a video on the whole process. And I'm also going to show you how I seal it because if you're putting vinyl onto jasmineite or even gold leaf or paint or anything like that, you do need to make sure that you're sealing your pieces. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm over in Silhouette Studio. This is the software that I use in conjunction with my Cameo 4 or with my vinyl cutter. Uh, if you have a Cricut, you need to use Cricut Design Space. So this is where the magic happens. This is where I do my designs. And I've already done my design, the specific uh, design that I'm going to be cutting out today. I already designed that in Adobe Illustrator. I am going to be launching my Etsy shop soon where I'll be selling illustrations, Photoshop brushes. I'll also be selling SVGs. Um, so if you would go and support me over there, I'd really, really appreciate that. So anyway, with that being said, I'm just going to bring in my design. So I'm just going to go to file and merge and then I think I'll just use the PNG because um, you can use an SVG as well, but not a lot of people have the business edition of Silhouette Studio. If you are on Cricut Design Space, then um, it will you can just upload the SVG. Uh, that's something that I do like about Cricut Design Space. So I'm just going to um, click on the, S, uh, the PNG and I'm going to bring that into my software. Right, it is quite big, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And then I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. Okay, so that looks pretty good. There's no um, reason to change this. All I am going to change is the dimensions of my design. So I did measure my mold um, and I measured on the inside of the mold. So my mold, the hexagon mold, and you might have the same mold. Mine measures uh, nine centimeters across and eight centimeters down. So I need to make sure that my dimensions over here match with the the mold dimensions so that when i go and put the sticker uh, onto my piece uh, it will fit perfectly okay so i'm just gonna change this so i'm um, just paying attention to the width i'm not going to worry about the height um, i'm just going to uh, make it a bit smaller to about 89.9 that should be perfect i don't want to make it exactly 90 that's fine so I'm going to stick with that. All right. And then I'm just going to make a duplicate of this because I'm just, I'm just going to be making two coasters today. Uh, it's just to demonstrate how I put my stickers on there. I'm also running really low on Jasmineite, so I think I'll only be able to make two. Um, now these designs are ready for me to go. Obviously, if you're going to be making four coasters, you'd obviously need to make a few more stickers. So um, again, if you don't have a cutting machine, they are really great investments. Um, you can make money with them. Uh, but if you don't have one, go on Etsy, uh, go on to your local um, Cricut or Silhouette group. There are people who are selling decals and Facebook Marketplace is also a great place to find uh, these stickers. And a lot of people do also make them sorry they also uh, do custom orders so you can design it and set it off okay so now that that is ready i'm gonna go ahead and cut this out on my machine i'm using a matte black sticker vinyl as you can see here you can use gloss if you want to but i do prefer matte 
So I'm just going to place my vinyl sheet on my cutting mat and yes I need a new cutting mat. Mine has lost its stickiness so I'm just going to use some masking tape to tape down my vinyl sheets. Once that's done I'll load my cutting mat in my machine and click on the send icon to send the design to be cut. Once my designs are cut, I just cut away the excess vinyl and now I'll begin weeding my design. I typically try to be very careful when doing this because it's easy to lose pieces as you're weeding. But if you're going to outsource decals, then that's not something that you need to worry about. After I'm done weeding my designs, it's time to apply some transfer tape. And this tape transfers the vinyl onto the substrate that you use. And that's why vinyl is so great because it can be applied to a vast number of substrates. Once that's done, it's time to pour some jesmonite. So I've poured in my mineral resin and powder in my jug. The jesmonite I use is a two to one ratio. So basically it's one part acrylic resin and two parts powder. I'm just going to make sure that it's mixed really well. Once it is, I'll pour it into my mold and then I'll let that sit for about, or sorry, I'll let that sit for about 30 to 40 minutes or until it's quite hard. You'll see me pouring in a little at a time. I do this so that I can get air bubbles out. You'll see me sort of lift and drop the mold and I find that this helps with getting rid of air bubbles. And I'll repeat those steps until the mold is full. Another thing that I forgot to mention was making sure that you are, your molds, sorry, your molds are super clean before you start pouring your jesmonite. If your molds aren't clean, the next cast that you do will pick up bits of dust or any previous casting pigments to your new casting. So just make sure your molds are clean. I use isopropyl alcohol with a paper towel to clean my molds and then I just use a piece of tape to get any dust particles or debris out. Okay, so now I'm just going to demold my pieces and here comes the fun part. We get to apply our vinyl decal onto our pieces. So take your time with this. I first position my decal where I want it to be. And then once I'm happy with the position, I press firmly with my fingers to get the vinyls adhesive to stick to the jasmineite. Now this can be tricky, but I promise you it works. I believe the stronger the adhesive of the vinyl, the better it will stick. You might find that your vinyl is lifting up when you go to remove the transfer tape. Don't stress, just press it gently down with your fingers to get it to stick. If it doesn't stick at all and you've tried everything possible, then try to use a bit of vinyl. Oracle 651 or any outdoor vinyl should work. Depending on your jasmineite piece, you can also use a squeegee to get the vinyl to adhere. You'll see I used my Cricut weeding tool to get a, gri a grip of the transfer tape and then I slowly removed the transfer tape. This step shouldn't be rushed because typically once vinyl starts adhering to a suitable surface, the adhesive cures and becomes stronger and it will be difficult to remove later on. So just do this very slowly. So I've managed to get the decal on there and oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Okay, now we're ready to seal our piece. So for this step, I went outside because I'll be using Krylon Matte Spray Finish to seal my coasters. I typically do about two to four coats of this spray and let it dry for about 10 minutes between coats. I also like to hold my spray at about 30 centimeters. That's about 12 inches away from my pieces to avoid blotching. And then um, I let... When I'm done with my final coat, I let that dry for a total of 30 minutes before I handle it. When I'm spraying, I also like to do short bursts from left to right. Um, I don't spray it all in one go because that can also create blotches and things like that. So I typically just do a short burst from left to right. And that is how I add decorations to my jasmineite pieces. I absolutely love it and stick around because I will be doing some ab abstract pieces. Super excited for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next craft video.